We can learn more about the latest climate report by going right to the source. Uh, Ulrich Kubash is a meteorologist at Berlin's Free University and a co-author of the report. Professor Kubash, you've been with us before, but we thank you for joining us here on Tomorrow Today. All right, let's um, begin by talking about the report. What is new or most significant in it? Well, I mean, if you look at the report on a whole, it's, uh, we have much more data, and so it's really now well stated that man is responsible for the latest climate change. All right, and in fact, efforts to cut carbon emissions haven't really been working. The emissions have been increasing. Why is that? Well, I mean, the report which was issued last week was then stating how can one limit carbon emissions. And, but it also points out the roles of the different actors. So you have uh, governments, you have interest groups, you have uh, normal uh, population, and uh, they ha all have different interests. And uh, to sort that out, it's pretty difficult. All right, well, you mentioned governments. Why doesn't the report outline concrete steps that governments should take? Well, one uh, condition for this report was that it should be policy prescriptive, but it's also uh, we want to show pathways, possible options, and then to let the ne governments negotiate uh, the right thing, rather than to say there's only one way and you should follow that. There is no, not only a single solution. Mm -hmm. One has to find a really an optimal solution for all countries in the world. Okay, well, many governments are focusing on renewable energies, but critics say that renewable energies are too expensive. What do you say to that? Well, I mean, this report really calculates how expensive are what options. So how expensive is it to go to renewables? How expensive is it to save energy? How expensive is uh, to uh, this carbon capture and storage? So you take the carbon, put it into the, the earth. Uh, and they find out if you do all these options, uh, there is, it's not that expensive. They talk about percentage of the gross national product of the whole world. All right, now governments are promising to limit, limit global average temperatures by two degrees. Is that even possible? Well, it's a tough goal. It's uh, starting from pre-industrial, so what has been there in 1850, uh, two degrees, so we have maybe half a degree left. Um, but the idea is really to, to, to set this goal that not people go away and say, we don't care, and uh, then we, at the end of the day, we would have eight degrees, and that would be really hard mm -hmm. on everybody. What can we do as individuals to limit our carbon footprint? Well, I mean, there are these direct options saying, uh, cut down on your emission, which means use your uh, energy more efficiently, or uh, save energy, uh, use renewable energies, uh, put some pressure on your government to go for renewables, for example. And briefly, what is your personal outlook about where the planet is heading? Well, it's definitely will be getting warmer. I'm not sure if it will stick to this two degrees. It might be two and a half or three degrees. But I think at the end of the day, uh, we will have to limit it and we will limit it. Okay, Professor Kubash, well, it's been very interesting talking to you. Thank you very much for joining us.